welcome to another video walk on the wild side and i am here in blackpool and i'm a little bit rural in this video yeah i'm actually on martin moss blackpool yeah to the south i've got the airport that way if i go that way I get towards the M55 motorway, yeah, so it is quite rural around here, just on the edge of town. I'm just outside this, uh, what used to be a nursery, a garden centre, yeah, but it's closed. I didn't even know this place had closed. I'm on Cropper Road, which is a very minor road, and uh, I'll show you in a minute. But I did not even know that this nursery was shut. But anyway, this video is all about a new link road that goes from here in Blackpool to Lytham and it's meant to link up Lytham with the motorway it's been long awaited now the road itself was an existing road it was like a lane a country lane that went around the back of the airport over there we used to call it radar road and it was a single track road and um, <laughs> tell you what oh it was pretty notorious yeah you took your life in your own hands if you decided to go down radar road it's been closed for 10 years they actually closed it because it was so notorious there was accidents people driving into the ditch and all that sort of thing it was one of those roads that you're going down a single track road you come up against someone else and if it who's gonna you know who's gonna move <laughs> it were a bit like that and we used to you know, when we were a bit younger used to go down a little bit fast you know and they had those little bumps like little bridges over the dikes and that sort of thing and if you went fast enough <laughs> you, you, you took off and uh, if you went too fast and you landed wrong well you're probably upside down in the ditch anyway in this video i'm going to be driving the new road from here in blackpool to Lytham, the new hay houses m55 link road but i want to show you a little bit around here first and i'll show you the beginnings of the uh, the road just up here where i am and then we'll check that out and then we'll get on the road So before I do that, I thought I'd just have a little nosy around here just to show you where I am. This road here is called Cropper Road and it is a bit of a single track road. Uh, it's got past, it's got these uh, priority, you know, it's got them. It's, it's a bit of a pain actually to drive down. All these houses here are like been built in the last sort of 10 years or so. Massive new housing estate. They're doing a lot of house, uh, new housing estates around here. It's all been built on. And I reckon this nursery here, which as you can see by the sign there, the garden place. Um, it's probably going to end up being built on, isn't it? Look, it says there they've moved. So they've moved to, uh, it's like they've moved to the industrial estate. Let's have a little look, shall we? There you go. Yeah, so I expect they'll be building a, a load of houses on, on here. Let's have a look next door. There's something interesting. This house next door. I'm just being really nosy here, by the way. Uh, it looks like it's been abandoned. What do you reckon? Look at that there, look. I wonder if that belonged to the nursery. Yeah. What do you reckon? Just thought I'd have a bit of a nosy around here first, just to show you around. It does look like they're going to be building houses on all this land soon. But let's have a look at the, the beginning of the road at this end first before we drive down it. I just want to show you because this is major. This is, it waited so long for this. Yeah, it's taken such a long time. And it's another option to drive from Blackpool to Lytham or the other way around. Instead of driving on the promenade or driving around the back of the airport, Queensway, they've been getting backed up for a long time. You know, it gets very, very busy. And this road will certainly help to stop a lot of those traffic jams that we've been having, because it does, it gets pretty mental. Anyway, let's go and check it out, shall we? So I'll just head to the end of this road and it's all been resurfaced as well. In fact, this road was really bad. I used to avoid it like the plague. It's only a minor road. It leads uh, between just up here, we've got sort of school road and back there, it's uh, an industrial estate and uh, the main road into Blackpool. But uh, yeah, it's just up here. We get to see the beginning of the road at this side that's like another view of the uh, what was the the garden center there there's a lot of land around here that's uh, that's up for grabs yeah and all this land here was up until what 
well in the last sort of 15 years I'd say maybe even less than that all this was just fields yeah not anymore let's go and check out this road okay here we go we've got a massive roundabout here school road to the right and that takes you into Blackpool or you can also go to St Anne's that way if you want the new road is on the opposite side just straight over there and in this roundabout we've got a sign in fact I'm going to go in the roundabout and show you the sign taking my life into my own hands here I'm in the roundabout now and there it is there's a sign it's an old sign because it says there the building near the road well they've actually finished it yeah M55 to Hay Houses Link Road yeah and I'm right in the middle of the roundabout if you go that way it takes you to the the motorway so it's all been done new in the last sort of 20 odd years that's to the motorway there this is like the old way out this one that's called White Hills Road it takes you up to Peel yeah but I'm making my way around this roundabout now towards what used to be Radar Road well I think it still is Radar Road I don't think they've got rid of the radars and it's a 40 mile an hour limit I mean before I think it was like national speed limit and it was my goodness it was pretty notorious but that's it folks it's been closed off for so long but now straight down there takes you right into Lytham and I'm going to be driving down there right now okay so here we go I'm just leaving the what was the the entrance to the nursery and uh, so I make my way onto the new road and uh, I think it's about a mile long and uh, we'll see how long it takes us to get to Lydham it's been so long awaited this road and like I said before it, it used to be a single track road and you, you really if you decided to head to Lytham or come back the other way on that road you, you really had to be quite brave yeah because uh, it was uh, <laughs> had a ditch either side and uh, yeah so if you went too far over the if you pulled in too far uh, you might have found yourself in trouble so anyway here we go this is it now we're heading onto the road now here we go look at this wow first day of opening by the way i forgot to mention before it actually opened this morning so i am driving this road on the first day of opening yeah it's the what date is it 27th might be the 28th i think it's the 28th 28th of june so here we are look at this and we called it radar road of course because we're going round the back of blackpool airport and we've got a radar up here look we've even got what looks like a cycle track a bridleway yeah there's a bridleway to the right hand side we've got a bridleway so that that's good that's great that so you can ride your bike down there from blackpool to Lytham and not have any problem having to dodge the traffic got a load of trees or whips as you call them planted along the side so we're now making our way down um, I'm not sure of the name of the road uh, Wild Lane I think it's called I think that's the official name but as you can see we've got a radar there look for the airport just crossing a, like a bit of a there's like a road or meant to be a road going across there i'm not too sure some of these there were some lanes that link up there i think there is a lane is that is that one there not too sure there's a lane called division lane which i think links up with this road so we're just going past that radar there eventually we will end up in london very different I like a bridge there 
I wonder if this is the junction with. Um, I don't know. There's a there's a roundabout there, so it could be work in progress. It could be linking that up with something else in the future. We'll have to wait and see. But we're making our way along. So much different to what it used to be. <laughs> it's so much safer. Yeah. Yeah, this is a lot better. A whole lot better. So it actually links up with a housing estate in Lytham called Cypress Point, which is very, very swanky. So we're now coming into, it's got to slow down a bit. This is now the entrance to Cypress Point, a very swanky housing estate in Lytham. Well, we're not actually, we're not actually fully in Lytham. We're more in, I would say we're more sort of St. Anne's, Ansdell. We're not quite in Lytham. Lytham is a little bit further down the road, but look at this here on the left hand side. It's proper swanky. Cypress Point, yeah. So, here we go. We've actually come to the end of the road now. This road was was already here, but we've actually come off the the old new road now. And we're now, well, to be to be exact, we're in Amstel. We've made it. How about that? How long did that take? I don't know. I wasn't uh, wasn't keeping time, but it didn't take long, did it? And also a whole lot. Uh, easier than it was before it was like it was before when it was a single track road it was well i think a lot of people they were too scared to go down it so i'll tell you what i'm going to do now let's take a left here i'm going to turn around i'm going to go back the other way but i just want to wrap up the video this road here is very very exclusive it's leads towards lytham crematorium and uh, this some of the most exclusive properties in Lytham down here, yeah. Very, very swanky. So there you go, that was a drive down the all new M55 to Hay Houses Link Road, Blackpool to Lytham, here in Lytham now. Oh, check it out, it's pretty swanky. In fact, I've just met some people actually that, that know me. I'm on Isley Road, which is a very, very exclusive road here in Lytham. In fact, Les Dawson used to live on this road right here. Look at this, yeah. Yeah, that might be another video, actually, yeah. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. I thought I'd take you down the new road because uh, when I did the last one, it was the uh, the Windy Harbour Bypass. That was up at Garstangway, and that video did so well, I thought I've got to do this road. It's been such a long time since it's been closed. So there you go. I'm going to drive back now. If you want to watch that, hang on and we'll drive back. I won't do any talking, but we'll drive back to Blackpool along the Link Road. And uh, anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.